So tonight is a uh, workshop, my Overcoming Toxic Shame, Recovering, sorry, Releasing Toxic Shame, Recovering from Narcissistic and Emotional Abuse at 7 p.m. Uh, UK time. So I wanted to do a quick live to talk about toxic shame, why all abuse is the transfer of shame and what causes narcissistic abuse. So shame and toxic shame is created when we grow up with dysfunction. Shame as with all emotions is a healthy um, thing. It's designed to serve a purpose to help us in our lives. When we're children it allows us to <coughs> separate from our parents without you know <laughs> to separate from our parents before and not venture too far before we're ready. When we grow up shame lets us know when we are transgressing our values, when we need help. Um, but toxic shame is created when we grow up with dysfunction. And all abuse is the transfer of shame, toxic shame. So narcissism is again something that we all have and again when we're children, it allows us to separate from our parents, to start venturing off on our own, you know, in the toxic twos uh, or the terrible twos stage of a child's development. That's when they are at their most narcissistic. But if we grow up, um, in a dysfunctional or toxic environment, <clears throat> that can become a coping strategy. We can use narcissism as a coping mechanism to stop us from experiencing um, future trauma. And it's an infantile defense. So someone who is narcissistic, someone who is a narcissist has a case of arrested development. They've taken on so much toxic shame that they've had to create a full self, a mask, and they use that mask to separate their toxic shame from the outside world. They use it so that they can interact with people. To maintain that mask, they need constant narcissistic supply. So the narcissist is the ultimate codependent. They need other people to give them admiration, to <coughs> enable them to maintain that shell, that separating their toxic shame from the outside world. And they can maintain that shell through, as I said, constant narcissistic supply in the form of admiration and they can also maintain it by being narcissistic, by attacking other people, putting other people down, calling other people names, etc. And when we experience toxic shame, we need to suppress it in some way. So we can suppress it by acting out, becoming narcissistic and abusive ourselves or by acting in through self-harm, eating disorders, um, etc. Emotional eating, substance abuse, all these things are ways of acting in, of suppressing toxic shame, of suppressing negative emotions. So that's why all abuse is the transfer of shame. Um, and if you find yourself repeatedly going from narcissistic relationship to narcissistic relationship, if you find yourself attracting um, abusers, it's because 
you've learned to interact with people in a dysfunctional way in your childhood and again inner child healing can help you to overcome that it can help you <clears throat> to develop self-love self-acceptance to start to see yourself as someone who's worthy of defending so check the comments below for a link to tonight's workshop which is listed on Eventbrite and I hope to see you there.